I really appreciate this woman for her bravery. But wow. This could have gone dangerous. What if the guy decided to attack her? Watch this video. All right, listen up, all you cheaters. If you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you ever need a Lyft or an Uber and you get in my car, be forewarned. If you mm -hmm. ever pull this kind of shit that this guy pulled today, you got the same thing coming. Today I picked up a guy. His wife and his kids walked him out to the, to the car, said, I love you, daddy, blah, blah, blah. So he gets in, he says, hi. He goes, I added a stop. I said, I saw that. So we go and we pull up at the stop and this lady comes out and she's got a little bit of luggage, like a handbag and a, a tote, a small tote. She gets in and she's like, I'm so glad you finally got away from your damn wife. Hmm. Okay, so then he kisses her and it wasn't a hi, how you doing kind of kiss. And so he goes, I changed our drop off location. I said, I saw that. Uh, I didn't know exactly where it was that they were going at that particular time. I just saw that it had an update. So um, they continued to talk and this, that, and the other. And she says, you know, I'm tired of you putting me off. When are you going to leave? Okay. okay. And he said, you know, I've got some things I've got to take care of. You know, let's talk about this later. Blah, 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 blah. Keep in mind, I was about five miles from his house. So understand something. This is my car. I work for myself. I am an independent contractor. If I choose to end your ride, it's my choice. Uber's not going to fire me. Uber's not going to ban me. Uber's not going to get rid of me. If you are doing something crappy in my car, cool. I have the right to handle it however I see fit. Well, he, things didn't turn out so well for him. I took him back to his house. I drove up and made him and her get out of my car at his home where his wife and his kids were. There was no other way this was going to go on. There is nothing worse than a dog. Female or you're a male. Pull some shit like that in my car and you're going to get done like that. <laughs> okay, wow. Be better wow. people. Do better in life. It didn't end well for him today, I'm sure. Because both of them had their baggage and both of them were standing in his front yard when I left. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And I hope you see this. Here's the thing. I really appreciate this woman for doing the right thing. Let's put it out there. Let's put that out there. She did the right thing. But I, I am so worried that it could have gone so wrong. What if the guy on his side chick decided to attack you while you were driving back to the man's wife? What if you what if you got attacked? Then I'm sure this would have been a totally different story. Yes, you're doing the right thing. Yes, we congratulate you. Yes, a lot of people are calling you a hero, quote unquote. But sometimes for your safety, it's best to mind your business sometimes. I would say you did the right thing, but I'm just looking the way it is. Just the way it is, you cannot do that with everyone because I'm sure some way, some way down the line, he will probably meet you again. You did say you live in Houston. If anything, this sounds like a whole villain story. What if this guy made a promise to find you one day, to Uber you? What if? Here's the thing, what if he decide to catch a Uber, and what if you were the person to pick him up? Don't you think he's going to remember your face? <laughs> or even the side check? What if? Huh? Wow. It's commendable. It's heroic. You did the right thing, but I don't know. Me personally... If I see something that doesn't have nothing to do with me, I'm going to act like I never seen it because I'm going to mind my business. If it isn't paying me, I don't care. No. But on the other end, the same could be said. What if you were friends with the with the wife? You wouldn't want your friends to go through a situation where the husband is cheating and you don't say anything. 
I wouldn't want that to happen if I were, if I so-called call myself a friend to that wife. There's always two sides to a coin. And I, I do agree with both sides, but I'm looking towards the safety side of it. I'm, I'm just saying, please be safe. Oh, there, you know that you are Ubering. Please mark that area because if anyone from that area decides to Uber, I wouldn't consider you to go there. I would please mark that Pacific area specifically or anywhere around that area close by because I'm sure if anything, she probably kicked him out. So he's probably, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying he could be in another hotel or something for the time being. He mightn't even be in the same spot. So please be safe. Please be safe out there. You did the right thing, though. Let me know what would you do in this situation if your friend, if your so-called friend is being cheated on, what would you do?